welcome back right uh, i'm gonna add a little addendum i'm gonna add a little footnote here uh because i uh, i messed up on the last video but i ended the video before i realized uh even though i thought i'd put the float in the right way up i put it in upside down I'm basically cutting off the fuel supply and if you want to test you have got your float in the right way up get the horrible hose Hold the float, oh, hold the carburetor up in front of your eyes and blow. Can you hear the air escaping? Yeah, right, so the float is open. Gas can get in. Right, now tip the carb upside down and blow again. Nothing's happening. That was me blowing. So if nothing's happening, the valve has closed the float ball. Right. That's that easy check done. Now I'm going to move over and try and get some electric. So, the bike is out in strong sunlight, so we're not really going to see what I'm going to attempt. You have to take my word for it. But basically, before we start, we need a battery. No battery, no electric. Now, some systems will run without a battery um, because they are batteryless systems, but not this one. Well, actually, it might, but. For the sake of argument, if it was built to have a battery, then a battery we're going to put in it. There's no point in messing about. And there's no point in using some crap old battery with a jump start kit either. That's just a waste of time. So, without waffling on, let's go and blag a battery. All right, pro tip. This is a, a five. Oh, no, it's a seven, actually. I thought it was a five. Anyway. This is the one size smaller battery than what you should have in a CRF250, which saves you quite a few grams in weight. Pro tip, it works absolutely fine. I thought it was a 5 and not a 7. Maybe you've got to have a 9, because uh, it says a 7 amp on there. But anyway, this is a 150 sized battery instead of a 250 battery. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get it on. Right, I may as well put some humour value into this video. This is what we have to work with in Thailand all the time. Can you tell me why that's on there like that? Because, I'll just pick my way inside here a minute. For the uh, wah 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 moment. Kind of like uh, standard with nearly everything I touch here. The wah, wah, wah. It's coming. It's coming, people. It's coming. I'm trying to be quick. I'm trying to keep the video short. I'm trying to keep viewers. I'm trying to make sense out of why this was done like this. Oh god, it's tied in a knot. It's actually tied in a... Why did they do that? Uh, you don't need to hang around while I do the uh, ground terminal. So I hold on, I'll be back. Well, excuse my surprise. It's exactly the same. So, now we've... Uh, Unraveled that. Can we even put these back on? Nah, we'll do that later. I'll just chuck those in the parts bin. So, when you're connecting batteries, start with your live. And uh, fit it nice and firmly. Right. Don't just whack your ground on. Just give it a quick tap, tap, tap. Right, if you get any kind of arcing, sparking, or massive, great big flashes of uh, electricity, uh, don't go any further. It means something is live. Something's switched on. Something's going down to earth. If you get nothing at all, fine. Connect it up. And that we can see by the state of this bolt when I get out of the way. But, uh, oops. 
electric corrosion is taking its toll. I should really swap that out. Right, okay, so we got the battery on. The sharp ones amongst you will see there's no carburetor, but there's no fuel either, so next thing we'll do is we'll come up here and see what happens if we just turn it on. We have got oh, that's nothing. Heavens above. Huh, we got a light switch there. Guess what? Oh, hang on. We got something happening. Not back there though. What about this thing? Nope. All right. I think we'll give up trying to check the electrics. That's something you can do on your bike. My only interest now is getting a spark. 